guys, this here is the, I call it the Kentucky plant pot slash bin lid slash uh, fucking three stringer bass guitar, which sounds like complete fucking trash, but we're going to do a bit of uh, playing of this beast here. Okay, this guitar, like you can't, it's really hard to compress anything, so you can't actually play anything useful on it, but look at this. It's, it's just, more like a drum. It's like more like a drum than a guitar. It's just so fucking. Demonstrate how loose the strings are. <laughs> Talking like, yeah, what? So I'm gonna try and play a little bit more. I, I, this guitar is like a dumbass motherfucker guitar. Fucking <laughs> string keeps on. I can't actually get it to do anything useful. It sounds. It sounds. <laughs> it it sounds sound pretty cool, actually. But you can't actually. The problem is you don't know where the notes are. It's the ultimate bass guitar. It's the bass bass guitar. It's fun! So hard to... Ah. It's more like... Look at the play of the string. Plank, the effort. Yes, you can't really put your hand, look at this. You can't put your hand around here to grip this properly. No, that's not how you grip it then. But you but you can't. You have to do it this way. And it's and it's more of like a gross action of rolling your fingers up and down. And you're really more you're more dependent on how you strum the guitar to get anything out of it. But it's actually fucked. It's just it's I would have to say this is the ugliest and most useless guitar in the world but like and uh it's uh, a product of the united states yep come all the way from kentucky this one it's a it's a collector's item <laughs> nice this is uh my room this is a fat stormtrooper and it's got like some keyboard shit and my favorite well not my favorite guitar over there and there's like a like an old shitty guitar there which I think it used to belong to some guy called Paulie, and it's like, yeah, man. And of course, there's my masterful guitar here. You know, it's a street painting and looks cool over the lights. Oh yeah, it just it sort of fluoresces and makes me glow like, yeah, you know, like I deserve it or something. <laughs> yeah. And then, then there's like a Taylor's. This is like a mini bass Taylor's. That's pretty fucking cool. They're like not bad. And that's chicken's foot there. So this is pretty cool, um, but like, um, you know, there's also, um, well, we'll come over here and look at this. Uh, uh, I'm gonna tell you, like, this is my, this is my executive bed here, and this is my, uh, my favorite fish. Hey there, you know, not many guys that get to sleep with Dory, but I get to sleep with her every night. She's quite a sexy fish. And uh, like, this is the ensuite for the, you know, the bedroom and, you know, yeah, you know, all that sort of shit, man. And so, yeah, yeah I, there's I, all sorts of weird shit. Oh, yeah, man. Okay, we're going to go over here, too. This, this is one of the most weird shit of all. This well, is the hurdy gurdy, which is like chicken's favorite fucking horn. That's like the ear rape, the lever ear rape. We might get him playing some of that shit in a second. Fucking pipe somewhere. And, you know, the problem with the 21 is you have to. You can only really play the sort of the older, you know, um, medieval tunes. Some of the newer tunes you need the 24 key, and I think Green Sleeves are one of the first mod of the modern tunes. It was in the order of Henry VIII, and and so you can you can play it on this, but you, you sometimes you miss a key. But um, the 24 key will be sweet when it finally comes. We've ordered it from Master Song in China, but it hasn't like fucking come. So because of the COVID, he's probably yeah. fucking dead, the poor cunt. But anyway, <laughs> no, he tells me it's coming, it's coming. 
you know, but it's been like months and months and months, but fuck, that was, that's a 23, but you know, the guy in the Ukraine that makes these is, is pretty sweet, and you know, that costs about 1,300 Australian or something, so it's, well, what was it, 1,000, Four hundred, five hundred—I don't know—but not too bad, really, compared to the amount of workmanship in that one. So I'm pretty happy with that one. This uh, guitar was, you know, th this is under a grand, well under a grand, um, probably about f five hundred US, if that. And you know, but Taylor's, it's fucking good quality, and you know, f for, for the cost, uh, man, I've. I'm, I'm enamoured with this guitar as, a, as, as an instrument. Now let's have a look over here. This is this one here is the cello for plucking. Um, you can see it's quite an old beast there. Um, it's been dated as being from 1790. So this is like almost as old or as old as the civilization, European civilization in Australia. Not saying the Aboriginal civilization, but the European. So this is a fucking old beast, and um, yeah, obviously cellos are, are fairly cool because you can play them a little bit like a double bass. And it's not a double bass like try and get that on your back and walk around with it. Whereas the cello, yeah, you can do that. So this one's, as I say, it's just uh, it's just so cool the way it's sort of it, it sort of existed for how old is that fucker now? 200 and, 200 and fucking 30 years old or something or plus you know and um you can play it you know we mainly pluck it but we got the bows here as well you can uh you can uh, play it with the bows so um the other thing that is uh, i have close close by is this uh um is the uh ukulele thing that i just want to learn how to do it it's um it's a it's a really American instrument. It's from the 30s. I'll show you that too. And you know that might you know it's all my lovely clothes and my washing and and you know yeah that's good. Um, let's go over here. This is the box of the ukulele. I got this from the states. Uh, it's a very American instrument. It's a hybrid between a a violin and a u u ukulele. And it's quite odd when you see it. What's this? It's basically like a basaltery, if you don't know what that is, but... Oh, I don't think they do, but still, <laughs> a basaltery, yeah. I, like, put it on my fucking chips. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, it comes with... You can actually get it with a bow, and I've got to get one of those bows. I think you can get basaltery bows, so... Well, we like, like really once we learn how to play this without e-raping people too much, we might come back to you on this one, but... You know, today we've done... So that's the ukulele. Have you got a name for that one? <laughs> what? <laughs> you bastard. So good. Oh, yeah, that fuck. It's pretty good. Have you got a name for that one? That's not mine. That's chickens. Oh, yeah. name for which one? It's an elephant type, isn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah, the it's elephant. The, the class of the hurdy-gurdy, you got fat boys, and this is an elephant hurdy-gurdy. So what do you call it? Heifer-lump? Or I don't know. <laughs> Dumbo. Dumbo the fucking elephant. Yeah, yeah Dumbo the elephant. Fly. <laughs> I haven't given a name for this ukulele, but I, I, I think that sort of woman, I'm going to have to cook up a name for her and call it after that. We, we get this one here is actually called Mr. Tinkleman. Mr. Tinkleman's my, yeah, my, a security blanket. Um, and over here, this car, guitar is called the Doctor because it likes to soothe me. This one here I've just named to the Dirty Sanchez. Don't Google it, guys. It's really obscene. <laughs> and that's Paulie's guitar. Uh, I can't even remember. I bought it off a guy called Paulie. He's an Italian guy. And anyway, his name is Paulie. That's why it's called Paulie's guitar. And uh, so that's what we do when I try and distress. And and uh, and uh, I don't know. I mean, we, some guys just told us to put up a couple of bit of shit about what we get up to when we're not gaming. What was this? <laughs> Frequently in the, in, the, in the parts of the hurdy-gurdy. Oh yeah, it's pretty fucking cool, isn't it? So you got all these fucking extra strings and... Oh man, medieval workshop. This is number 222. 222, two, two. but you got two elephants, haven't you? And a, yeah, yeah. And a fat boy, so he's got three of these fuckers. And um, 
Yeah, they. I mean, I can't wait for the twenty four kids to come out because they'll sound. Well, I reckon they'll sound even better, and I've got to learn to play with this fucker too. Peace.